Smith and welcome you to, to Midwest, Midwest Man. Man. I know that sounds we man, we've really been working on that intro. Like, yeah, I, know, I, kind of I don't like that one. <laughs> That's good. Either way, it doesn't matter. Hey, I just want to welcome you folks for coming out and joining us. And you're probably thinking to yourself, you know, Midwest Man, what exactly is that? It's the automotive world. It's exactly what it is. We want to talk about everything automotive, from the service side to the sales side, detail department, uh, you know, sales managers, salespeople, all that good stuff. Absolutely, the ins and outs of the whole industry. Well, I think it's and cool. You know, just think about this: to be able to hear things from from the true story, and that's what we want to share with everybody. We also want to talk about Toyota as a whole and what they're doing as a manufacturer uh, and what they're adding to dealerships, things like that. Man, we got tons of stuff to talk about. We do. I don't want to rush myself. Right, because you know me, I get to talking and it is downhill from it's there. Right? Right. We don't want to do that. So let's let's start with this. Let's start with ourselves. Like right? let's talk about who Sounds we are. Good. And and because I'm doing all the talking, I'm going to go first. How about hey, that? You know what? I think you probably should. <laughs> all right, well, like I said, I am Tron Smith. I am a sales manager here at Wilson Toyota. I have been here a little over 18 years. I'm telling you, it has been unbelievable uh, working in this store, in this industry. Um, I, I moved here, my wife and I and kids moved here about uh, about 20 years ago. Um, came to Wilson Toyota. I wanted to work for the right dealership. That was important to me that I worked for good people uh, in a good community. So when I walked in here, I instantly knew I was in the right spot. I had the opportunity to speak with uh, Danny and Danny day one. Um, unbelievable people, they've never changed in 18 plus years. They've been the same guys uh, from day one and have been really great. At that time, Ron Franzen was our was our GM, which is another guy had a huge impact on my career here. So thank you, Ron, wherever you are. If you're out there. Um, but it's really, really been awesome. But we, I came in here. Uh, I started as a salesperson. I mean, I started at the ground level, new to the community, new to not to the industry because I came from a Chevy store uh, in Bellevue, Nebraska. But new to the community here and new to Toyota's community. Mm. So it was a, it was a change, and we'll talk about that in some some later podcasts. How the difference between manufacturers and the way they treat their consumers. Uh, for sure, doing that. For sure. But came in here, got with these guys, got on the sales floor, worked hard yeah, for years and years, uh, and, and spoke with Danny. He was like, man, things continue to go. We're going to move you up in the world, and here I am. Uh, and now I'm a sales manager, which is awesome, uh, because now I get to work with salespeople that were in the same position that I was in right. uh, years and years and years ago. So it's been great. Uh, Ames is a great community, and I'm going to tell you, we're going to have so much fun talking about Toyota and who they are and what they do from the, from the regional level all the way up to the top level. Ooh, we're going to go there. So that's just a little bit about me. What about you? Well, my name's Chad Christensen. I'm the second part of this podcast. Um, I have been in sales for 25 years. Uh, I have been with Wilson Toyota for four years. Before that, I sold food. Um, I drove all over the state of Iowa. Uh, I ended up managing for a little while. I ended up missing a lot of sports games. That so um, I ended up out at Wilson Toyota. Um, by a reference of someone that said, come out, check them out, they're different. And uh, I came in, I was here thinking I was going to be here for 10 minutes. I showed up in a golf shirt and shorts. I was going to go golfing. You know, I was ready to roll. And uh, I was here about four hours and talked to everyone. And the, the sense that I, you know, that came over me from the beginning was community, family. Um, and it was really weird because I came in with, you know, a perception of what the whole industry was and a perception of what car people were. And four hours later meeting owners, managers, other salespeople, I walked out of here, I called my wife and I said, first of all, she said, are you buying a car? And I said, no, I was actually in a job interview. And she was like, what, why? And all of a sudden she said, you know, I can hear it in your voice. You might as well call them back. And I said, what, what do you mean? And she's like, you're gonna take the job, call them back. The best decision I've made. And I will, and I know we're going to get into it more, but it was one of those decisions that was life changing. And even though I'm a little older, the stress level went down, the family went up. And so, I mean, it's just been a very, very good fit. I just want to be clear and say that you said 
I know you're a little bit older. That, yeah, I didn't, I I didn't say it. It's just something that you're recognizing on your own. We'll, we'll get into that on a later date. I don't want to deal with it right yeah. now. But, you know, I talked about you coming in and doing that. Uh, you know, to be honest with you, one of the best hires that we made uh, since we've been here, uh, finding a, a salesperson like you. And for all you sales managers out there and all you GMs out there, just know it is, it is so important that you hire the right people. You know, for I always sure. say to people, I hire for attitude, I train for skill. It is so, so important that you make sure that you have good people on your staff so they treat your customers the right way. So you are one of those good people. And you know what? Oh, like our entire staff is the same way. We've got a lot of good people. Um, just a little bit about the dealership as you come in. Uh, Denny Wilson. Denny Wilson uh, has started this business 30 plus years ago. Uh, and he's been in the community, uh, and we'll dive into community things as well. But Denny has been here. The, the, the great thing about Denny, he started in the detail department when he got into the automotive industry. Uh, started detailing cars, like one of those deals when you talk about the love and passion for cars. Uh, he had that love early in his career, got into detail, worked his way into the sales floor, worked his way in the sales manager, into the GM office, and now he owns a dealership. And, and I like to consider Danny as the icon of owners. Uh, this is a guy that gets it at every level. He treats every single employee the same way. Speaks to everyone, really talks to everyone, that. same guy every day. Absolutely. Right? I mean, Absolutely. Uh, trust me, I've done some crazy things. <laughs> In 18 plus years, I've never, I can't make this up, I've never had the guy even frown at me about one mistake, yell at me, any of those things, right? So, right. Uh, Danny Wilson has been a great guy, and then you have Danny, who is his son, uh, who runs the store, and, and I've grown to really admire Danny's uh, path, to be honest with you. Here's a guy, grows up, his father owns a dealership, how easy is it for him to say, you know what, Dad, just give me the corner office and let me be the boss yeah, and tell me what to do. Um, instead, after college, Danny says, hey, I'm going to go, I'm going to get in the car business, just not at my dad's place. So he goes and he gets in sales in a different, you know, dealership, uh, and he learns the ropes, and he learns how to do things, and then he comes here and still doesn't say, hey, put me in the office. He right. says, I'm going to work my way up, even in your store, um, did the, you know, went through the right channels, and he, he took the same levels that, that I took, the same levels that, that Josh, who our GM is right now, mm -hmm. took, and, and I'm always going to admire him for that. And it's just a guy you can look up to. And say, hey, dude, you know, from the bottom to the top, right? Right. I won't get into where that song came from because I don't want you to start. Yeah, it's over my head. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, that happens. I, I will tell you this about both of them that I think is unique um, is they are here every day. That's important. But what's crazy is people come in and they're like, well, we know they're not here. And they've probably walked by them two or three times. And they didn't even know that that was the owners. Well, then they're not watching the commercials. I, I, I don't agree with that. But they, my point is they are here. Yeah. They are active. And always, I'm always teasing people. I say, hey, man, you think you can go to the University of Alabama, walk right in and talk to Nick Saban? Never going to happen. I right? can't even get in to see Campbell. Well, we definitely won't get into that right now. That has something to do with a Friday night, you acting crazy. I'm with Matt on that one. I wouldn't let you in either, right? So what do you think about that one? Well, you know, we'll, we'll kind of get into it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get Danny in here. I, I'm telling you, we're going to have zero luck getting Danny on this podcast. Yeah. But I bet, you I, can, I bet you I can convince Danny to come here. Maybe I'll threaten to race him or something. He's always running. I think I can beat him. Anyway. I like um, it. I like it. So, so, you, so you get two great owners, and then you have this unbelievable community. And I think people fail to realize how awesome the Ames community is. Man, there's a little bit of everything to do in Ames. There really is. I mean, if you're a family, it's great. If you're single, it's great. You gotta drive a little bit if you're single, but right. it's still great, right? You ain't got anybody breaking in your house. No. Um, <laughs> it, is, <laughs> it is a college town, and so it's always live and in person. Uh, if you've never been to Ames, you gotta eat Listen, if you're in Des Moines, if you've never been to Ames, you're missing a lot of good food. Rico's Tacos? Rico's Tacos. They're right. good. It's Let's good. Toss. It's good. I mean, we're just talking about the things that you can only get in Ames, right? That's right. There's a few things. So That's you right. get close with a great community. And man, they're really tight knit. Uh, you want to talk about having a really diverse community? You're here in Ames. You get a little bit of everything with the university being here. We've learned over the years to have a great relationship with athletics. Uh, I've done a lot of work with Jamie yeah. Pollard, a lot of yeah. work with Bill Finley, a lot of work with Paul Rhodes when he was here, Matt Campbell now that he's here. I mean, it's been great. Fred Hoiberg. I can go down the line of of uh, college coaches that have been in this facility working with us directly. Oh, 100%. Um, so really, really great community. And from a high school level and then all the way down to elementary school, we do a lot of work uh, in the community with those guys. So, man, you got great owners. Uh, you got a great community. Well, and I do want to throw out when you say community, we're also talking about all the surrounding areas that are around us. 100%. Huxley, Gilbert, Nevada, Boone, all of them. So here's a cool thing about Wilson Toyota. We are, we are, we're 2212 South Duff Avenue. 
We're mm -hmm. right in the middle of Ames, right off Duff, the main street. We are a short drive from anywhere, anywhere. in the metro. Yeah. If you're in Des Moines, you're within 30, 40 minutes. If you're in yep. Anthony, which is really a great hop, skip, and jump where I live, um, you're literally 20 minutes from, from getting yep. here. You got to come down. And then you got great communities. I'm with you, like Gilbert and Nevada and Boone. And, and if I missed you, I'm sorry. I didn't yeah. miss you on purpose. They're all great communities, right? I just I don't have time to read them all off. Okay? So <laughs> I think so, there's 99 communities. Well, don't take it personal. Okay. I just I just didn't read it. So, so I'll say it again. You got you have this this great owner uh, with this great staff, and you're in a great community. And the only thing that could really mess this up is if you have a bad manufacturer. Right, and we don't have that. <laughs> you know, we, we have do Toyota. Not. We do not. <laughs> you know, we have Toyota, which is unbelievable. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take one podcast, and I want to tell you the difference um, between the manufacturers from my standpoint. Right, right. Neither one of those manufacturers are bad. I work for Chevy, and I've also worked for Toyota. Now, uh, I can tell you, everybody makes a good car. Some people just make them better, and right. that's and that's okay. Right. And we'll we'll dive into what the differences are. Uh, but we have Toyota, which is a man. I'm telling you. Overbuilt, overbuilt, overbuilt. Oh, Everybody yeah. says Toyotas are reliable. Why are they reliable? Because they overbuilt them. <laughs> <laughs> it is so true. I can't wait to dive into all that and really talk to the people about really what makes up our cars, our vehicles. Hundred percent. We'll get into pro. We'll get into products, how they're built, why they're built. We'll get into everything. Things like spot welds and how many is on your car and how many is on this car versus that car. We'll dive into all that. Um, but back to Toyota, right? Don't right. rush me. I, you know, I just I just got on there. I got excited. The 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 iced latte just went right through me. I'm all jacked up. No more coffee, <laughs> or whatever you're drinking for you. So, but I, I want to share this. Uh, I want to share this with the the crazy mayhem people that are listening to this deal, right? Akio Toyota, Akio Toyota. If you don't know, yeah, uh, is owns Toyota. Mm -hmm. Him and his family they own Toyota, and I've always been extremely um, I pay attention to what he has to say because he's our leader. He's leading the manufacturer that I work for. Danny Wilson shared with me that at every dealer meeting that Akio Toyota is there, he starts and he finishes with the same wording. That wording is, take care of our customers. We will build great cars if you would just take care of our customers. That's how he starts. That's how he finishes. When you have a leader that thinks of the consumer first. You have to know that every decision made on everything, the small things and the big things, are all based on what is best for the, the consumer. Result, the consumer. Man, how can you be wrong there? We'll, we'll yeah, get into cool. that. You know, it's funny you know, to hear that, but then it makes me go back and think about every little thing that happens from the Toyota standpoint, the region coming in, how they train us, what they right. send us, those kind of things. If you really start thinking back, it all goes back to Akio saying, no matter what happens, take care of our customers. And it all kind of correlates. It goes back to that. And we'll get into that in, in these podcasts. There's going to be a lot of great content right, right, right. in these I podcasts. I'm so, I'm, dude, I'm super wait. excited. I got all these notes. And every time I start like flying off the handle, I get a weird look. Right? It's yeah. like, stop, stay, don't go there. Yep. Right? Stay in the box. We'll get there. If you want all the good stuff, you're going to have to come back and get the good stuff. I'm not just going to give it to you all today. Right? <laughs> we we, we, we got to make sure that we get into that. And, and so here's a cool thing. And I'm going to get killed for this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Do it. Right? Do like, it. I'm get to, I, every time I start like having this conversation, someone starts doing this little dance. Oh, yeah. I don't know what this dance is. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I thought it was a chicken dance at first, but I it's not no a chicken idea. dance. I, I, don't, I don't know what that means. Right? <laughs> Maybe I don't go to the club enough to yeah. work. This must be like a new dance. Right? Yeah. I thought clubs were like the crackers. What? The club cracker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been to club in a while. Uh, oh. <laughs> Not gonna go there. I mean, not gonna go. You know what? But this is a new dance. I don't want to go to the club. Right when, when when Fred and Barney was hanging out, they still had clubs yeah. back then. I'm seeing it on the place. Yeah, well, we multiple used them to get food to feed our family. You actually used them to fight your wives too back then. That's a whole other story. We don't have time to talk about that, right? So, but I gotta get into this. And I'm just gonna get killed for this. You right? already are. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Get, I'm not gonna get dead like D E A D D. I'm gonna get D E D. Yeah, you right? did. I'm in trouble. I'm going to get there. Yeah. Uh, but I think we have to go to this because it's important. You and I have been working on this podcast for years. It's probably right. probably since for three years. Yeah. A year after right. we started, we've been talking about it. Never could put it together. Right? right? Just never could put it together. We hired this individual. Can I say people's names on the podcast? I 
think you can you can say it. Yeah, I think. Uh, you how should. about it's not like I'm giving last names and addresses, right? right. It's just right. like we can get away. But if you do, no, never mind. Okay, I'm joking. Um, we hired Riley um, just on a limb. It's funny. She called me. I met Riley and her family 13 years ago, which is crazy. Um, and she's always been a pain, just so you know. I mean, from the yeah, thing changed. One, it, no, it got worse, <laughs> right? So Riley graduated from the University of Iowa State. Is it even the University of Iowa State? Is that what I think it's called? Iowa State University. Okay, I can say what well, uh, the Iowa State. Can we say that? The Iowa State. She graduated from the Iowa State, and after graduation, her and I got to talking about just working. Because I was like, right, you need a job, right? Right. Like, you can't just walk around and be a freeloader. You got to work. Um, not knowing what I was going to get into, she she just kept showing up. I know. I think we never hired her. She just kept coming in here. So we're like, okay, give her an office. She's not leaving, right? Um, but she came in and she was going to work on our social media side of, of, of things. And I had no idea the gym that we were hiring. Yeah. I mean, from day one, it's been like, hey, can you do this? It's done. It's brilliant. It's yes. perfect. Uh, we again, like we work on this podcast. Here we are. We are. We are. We are we, you know what? We were lucky. It was lucky, right? Um, but she has done a great job. We didn't have a social media presence. That's as much as you know. Zero, <laughs> zero social media presence. Now, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm. I, am I gonna get this right? Am I gonna let you I, say? No, what I'm else? not saying. I want you to do it because I like. When do, you we talk, to do, do we talk? Do we talk about the pluses? You yeah. just mad because I, because <laughs> I'm getting this zero. Okay, listen. Insta chat, right? Yeah, isn't that where we chatted each other? Insta Is it where we chatted? Yeah. I don't know why everybody gives me a hard time when I say Insta chat. Okay. Do you not chat here? Is that is that what you do? Yeah. It's so is it, am I incorrect in saying Insta chat? Yes. To me, I'm, you, I'm no, yes, yes. If okay. I see her, I feel her. My hair went on the back. If of you head. want, if you <laughs> <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks to Riley, we are up and going on Instagram, and I just want to share that you want to go out there. There's going to be a lot of content. She's been doing a unbelievable job in keeping us up to date and I'm, I'm reading this so if you see my head turns 100 percent i'm reading this because right. if i get it wrong i'm going to get again TED. yeah and that's why i'm letting dead. you do it this time because i want to see what happens <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny that's not funny okay uh at wilson of ames is where you will find us on instagram and on twitter correct right? Uh, and I'm going to tell you, if you, you know, you're going to get great content there. If you want to get the real deal, the 100% true business, oh, look when it me. comes to Twitter, you want to follow at Big Strong. That's two oh. G's when you're as big as I am, right, yeah. on Twitter. And also, you want to follow Big Strong One on Instagram, or as I like to say, Insta Chat, right? And we'll just chat a little bit, yeah. right? Again, two G's when you're as big as I am. And I'm going to tell you, hey, follow Wilson Toyota on our Facebook Right. If you've had Wilson Toyota Facebook before, I want you to go and pay attention. Uh, again, hiring someone new in with a creative mind and forward right. thinking, she's For changed sure. a lot. So we've changed. You want to go see? We got a new look on the book face. We Facebook has changed. Have a new look. Right. So Facebook at Wilson Toyota Vames. That is Facebook right. and TikTok. I'm not going to get into TikTok because I don't hey, know what it is. What is TikTok? I have no idea. Is that where we do this? No, no. I don't. TikTok is like where all the funny stuff is. Oh. Why don't you go there? Be on that. It's some funny stuff on there. <laughs> She's done some stuff on there. And I'm like, why would you put that on there? It's oh, funny, yeah. right? Makes you laugh. So go follow us there. It's, it's good. Thanks to Riley. To be Thank you, Riley. Like, utilize her. Riley. Sly Riley. She will not give you words. Sly Riley. What is it? That's going to stick. You know that, right? I want it to. Okay. Sly Riley. Sly Riley. Whatever, whatever you want to do. But if you were to go to our Instagram, right? Go ahead. Go over there. It's at Wilson of Yep. Go That's to our right. Instagram. Take a look at what you'll see on October 31st. I can't wait for October 31st. Okay, we're on the street. Uh oh. We're on the street. Because you know I got pull, right? I, I mean, well, I got gravitational pull. When you have two G's, you got, you got pull. I mean, I know people that know people. Yeah. Because I know people that know people, I know that Batman will be here on October 31st. Batman's going to be here. I know that Spider Man will be here on October 1st. Oh. We're, I, hey, I have not confirmed that Thor's coming. Thor we might be here. And we might, you know, I know that some of the Avengers are coming. Uh, Scarecrows will be here. Uh, a couple witches. Someone told me that they got a gorilla from the a zoo. Gorilla? Anyway, what am I talking about? I'm talking about be here for? Trunk or treat. Trunk or treat. Man, what a great time. Yeah, okay, moms, dads, listen. 
on Halloween, you're going to, one thing, what neighborhood do I go to to feel the safest? Not saying neighborhoods are bad. I'm just saying you just never know what you're going to get. Right. I'm watching the Jeffrey Dahmer and thinking, you know, that's the thing, right? <laughs> so I'm just saying that. You never know. That dude lives in people's neighborhood. But okay, so here's what I'm going to tell you. You want to be safe. Every single office in our dealership, okay, Chad, yours being the best, will be decorated. Thank you. Everyone will be a costume, and you can bring the kiddos right to Wilson Toyota, 2212 South Duff Avenue, right here in Ames, Iowa, just a short drive from wherever you are. And they can go to each office and get candy and see the costumes and say which costume is the best. That is going to be on October 31st, Wilson Toyota in Ames. Trunk or treat, you need to be there. Trunk or treat is going to be fantastic. Not only is everyone dressing up and there's candy for the kiddos, but you get to see how crazy I am at my desk with decorations. I was so crazy that Mr. Wilson, who is, I mean, he just walks by, looks at you, smiles, good morning. He moonwalked back to my desk and looked at me. And he said, yeah, that's good. I want to see that moonwalk. <laughs> but, but at 8 o'clock in the morning to hear, that's good? Chad. I still have three feet of room. I can do Chad, something. I just, I'm just i going to try to paint a picture for the podcast <laughs> people at home just so they can see. I, I counted the other day. I'm pretty sure you have 32 spiders hanging on your wall. There are some spiders. Okay, you have a, I don't know, Grim Reaper. It is the Reaper. Standing in the doorway. It is the Reaper. I mean, he's going to talk to people on the 31st. There's a witch on your desk. Yeah, but she gets up and leaves every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you mean that one? I don't, I don't think you can say that. I don't think you can say that. But I just, yeah, we have to edit that one. No, I'm just, oh, I love it. Um, but no, you do. I think that you really get into that because uh, isn't there like a special day around that day? You know, I was just fortunate enough to be born in October. It is my month. It is my holiday. It is like Christmas every day of October for me. I absolutely love it. It is my favorite holiday, and I cannot wait to dress up. I'm going to have to think of something really creative to get you for your birthday. You know, should I tell a story about what happened, our, I, our relationship? I, I thought we that would up. say that okay, for we'll, Okay, we'll take that for I mean, another time. I think we should talk into it. Well, not after I tell the story, we will probably we're gonna be like, where are you guys friends, right? So there's a lot of content that we're going to get into that, but I don't want to put it all out there. Uh, today, right. I just wanted people to kind of get to know who we are, for sure. what, how important our culture is, where we are, what we plan to do in this podcast, how much content. I'm telling you, if you're a salesperson, you want to tune into this podcast. If you're a sales manager, you want to tune into this podcast. If you're a consumer, you want to tune into this podcast. If you have anything to do with the automotive industry, if you have any questions about cars, brakes, things like that, you want to tune into this podcast. We're going to talk about things that you probably didn't even know existed. Right? Smart Correct. Fact. Throw it out there. Correct. Right? We're going to say some right now. 100%. Right? <laughs> We're going to do that, so you want to make sure that you tune into it. But I just wanted just a little tidbit. I'm going to leave the consumers with something today because I think it's important to start right here. I like it. Let's do it. The number one thing that people talk about is, man, what can I expect when I go to a car dealership? Right? What right. should you expect? Well, let right. me help you. The first thing you should expect when you go into a car dealership is you should feel welcome. 100%. If you walk into your local dealership and you don't feel welcome, Makes or sense. any dealership, man, you should turn around, hit that beat it Michael Jackson spin, and go right back out I like the door. It. Um, we pride ourselves in making sure that when you come into Wilson Toyota, everyone speaks to you. It's like Disneyland, Disney World, right? Everybody speaks to you in Disney World. Great. That's why they're so successful. Everybody speaks. When you go to a dealership, you should make sure that you feel welcome and you understand that everyone that comes in contact with you makes you feel that way. Right. Like you should be there. Right. Agreed, 100%. You should never be an inconvenience. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm talking to the salespeople right now. I'm talking to the sales managers. I'm talking to every car dealership out there. If you close at 8 o'clock and that customer hits your door at 7.59, yeah. it better be the same way as if that guy that came That's in. That's right. You may be there until 9 o'clock. A hundred percent. And that's where us, us in our industry, we got to get really good at that and understanding that sometimes 7.59 is the only time that the consumer can make it. Mm -hmm. And we need to make sure that we treat them the same way. Again, I go back to Akio Toyota, take care of our customers. That's right. So we'll get into that. We'll have a segment. We'll talk to the salespeople about the, the attitude and we'll talk to what should we be saying and what, how do you deal with that angry customer? Right. Like the one that's out there that when you walk out there, ah, 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 I don't want to talk to you. And, and I run sometimes because you see them and the look on their face, they just want to get away. Cause, and, and I'm just there to take care of them. You know, it's, it's one of those weird things that I'm talking to the consumer now, right? 
the dealership can't open on Sunday. That's a good day to just walk around. Well, if you want right? to check out the inventory, if, for sure. Well, well, the truth of it is if you come when they're open hours, someone is going to come out and speak to you. That is their job. That's, That's what they're supposed to do. Correct. It is just a polite way to say, say hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what I want yet. If you can just keep an eye on me, I'll come back. But you don't have to do this. <laughs> And you know, the ones that I really love are the people that keep their door open, and when you get halfway out there, they oh, run yeah. and jump in their car. And then they out. And, and then they take off, and it's like, dude, why did you just come after hours? <laughs> <laughs> why did you just come on Sunday, right? We're just trying to do our job here. Right. Um, but I'm gonna, real quick, I'm going to go back to what you said earlier. We have, uh, we have created that in our industry. We have created that slimy, sleazy, we're going to rip you off kind of mentality. Right. And this podcast Perception. and this dealership, we're working to change that. So Every tune in. We're going we're gonna, to we're help the dealerships. We're going to help the salespeople. We're going to help the sales managers and the GMs. Hey, we're going to help the owners. We're going to help everybody, the consumer, what to expect. What, why, why did this happen? Yeah. Why shouldn't it happen? What's a VSA? We're right. going to get into all those kind of weird, wacky things. I love it. Right here at Midwest Mayhem. Hey, i got to thank everyone for joining us. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Today, tomorrow, the next day, Let's whenever you check to it, just come back. And here's what I'm going to tell you. Hit, hit, make sure, reach out to Wilson Toyota on Instagram and Twitter, at Wilson of Ames. Reach out to us on Facebook and TikTok, uh, at Wilson Toyota of Ames. If you have any questions, anything you want us to cover, any content, man, reach out to me. Let us know. Uh, Insta chat me on my Insta chat, yeah. right? Uh, at Big Strong One, <laughs> right? Insta chat me there. And then Big Strong. Here it comes. At Double Big G. Strong. Two G's when you're Double big G. time. Again, thank you all for joining us. Thank Appreciate you very much. it. And again, welcome to Midwest Mayhem. Welcome to Midwest Mayhem.